financial analysis. We've been looking at the current ratio right here, current assets divided by current liabilities, and we've been looking at working capital. Do you remember what these two types of uh, ratios are classified as? You're right, they're called liquidity ratios. We're going to use the same information, the same balance sheet, and also its income statement to take a look at the profitability ratios. And the profitability ratios dig, digs a little deeper into the income statement to help us analyze how well are we doing. The first profitability ratio is profit margin. And profit margin is net income divided by net sales. So in this case, net income is $25,000 divided by net sales, which is $410,000, means that I have a profit margin of about 6.1%. Putting it a different way, six cents of every sales dollar is profit in your pocket. So profit, profit margin, is this good? Well, I don't really know because I would need to compare it with something, wouldn't I? What kind of profit margin were you expecting for this company? What kind of profit margin are your competitors getting? Uh, what was your profit margin last year? So again, put this into context in order to gain meaning from it. Otherwise, it's just a little math computation, isn't it? The second uh, profitability ratio we're going to do is called asset turnover. Asset turnover is net sales divided by average total assets. So net sales, let's see, net sales is $410,000. And now what do I mean by average total assets? Well, that's the assets at the beginning of the year plus the assets at the end of the year divided by 2. So it's a simple average. Now, in uh, the problem, it tells me that assets at the beginning of the year were 180000 So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add assets at the beginning of the year, 180000 plus assets at the end of the year, which were 220000 and divide it by 2. So 180,000 plus 220,000 divided by 2 means we have average assets of 200,000, isn't it? So 410,000 divided by average assets of 200,000 means our assets turn or refresh themselves 2.1 times a year. So in other words, the replacement rate of our resources is about twice a year. Is that good or bad? I don't know. I have to put it in context, don't I? What was I expecting? What are my competitors doing? What did I do last year as far as turning of assets? So I need a comparison. The third ratio that you're going to be doing is called return on investment. And return on investment in this case means return on assets. So return on assets will take my, oh, oh and I should tell you how you get this. A return on investment or return on assets is profit margin times asset turnover or simply put net income, so the dollar amount of the net income, divided by average total assets. So if I remember net income was 25,000 and average total assets were 200,000, remember beginning plus ending divide by 2, so our um, return on investment is 12.5%. Well, is that good or bad? Again, put it in context. But getting about a 12% return is a whole lot better than what you get on your checking account, isn't it? The next one you have is return on equity. And return on equity says you take your net income and you divide it by your average stockholder's equity. So net income, 25000 And in the problem, it tells me that my stockholder's equity at the beginning of the year 
was 140,000. We know that our stockholders' equity at the end of the year was 170,000. So if we take those two and divide it by two, we'll get our average stockholders' equity. So if I do my math right, I find it 16.1% is the return on my equity. What do you think? Again, put it in context. The last ratio I'd like to cover is called the solvency ratio. And the solvency ratio answers the question, who owns the company? And it's basically total liabilities over total stockholders' equity. So again, if I go back to that balance sheet, the total liabilities for the company were 50000 The total stockholders' equity was 170000 So notice I get 29.4%. As long as the debt to equity is less than one, who owns the company? the stockholders. If the debt to equity goes above one, who owns the business? The creditors have a bigger say, don't they? So that's ratio analysis.